If you connect with her, she will empty you. You don't worry about how to empty myself. But you must connect. What is connecting? Whenever you're little shitty, I mean fearful. Bhairavi Devi, Bhairavi Devi. No, that's not the way to handle this. This is, uh, if you really want to be with that, you must make it a part of your breath, on and on and on and on. Not necessarily by saying the mantra, simply because uh, I think this is coming from people who have the yantras at home. Well, she's exuding a certain level of energy. Well, there are fools who've taken the yantra and they think their neighbor's yantra is better than theirs. No, no, you need to clear your eyes. Too much goo out there in the morning, you see, not able to see anything, not because the sun is not bright, simply because your eyes need some cleaning. So you clean yourself up a little bit. Cleaning yourself up means just this. Well, this empty and being full of yourself, you know what it means being full of yourself? You're too full of yourself. Uh, tone it down. That's what we've been talking about all this time. Tone down your nonsense a little bit. You're bull. Tone it down. You shouldn't be too full of yourself. When we are with, uh, with the world around you, maybe you have to put on an act. At least when you're alone, there should be no act. You must be just yourself. Yourself does not mean your personality. Yourself means life. It has no flavor, it has no attitude, it's simply there. So one simple thing you do is, just see, test yourself today itself and see. Simply sit, eyes open, simply, still, unmoving. See if you can bring everything to a certain stillness. No need to stare at something, no need to concentrate, no need to take away your thoughts, no need to think about this and that, nothing. Simply sit still. Just like that. You will see how much nonsense you're making up all your life. So there is nothing to empty, it's just fluff. If you are, are doing the process with the Devi Yantra, well, she'll burn through the fluff, eff fluff effortlessly. If you need uh, a sound going with you, chant the mantra, stuti or something, not when you think you need. You must do it when you don't need. That's what is most important. The difference between a devotee and a deceitful person is just this. A devotee is focused towards one thing, irrespective of what the situation is. Deceptive person only looks at it that way when he needs it. Well, that is an abuse of a relationship, isn't it? Hello? It's an abuse of a relationship, you look towards somebody only when you need them. Otherwise, you ignore them. Now, that is a very abusive relationship, you better not abuse her. That's not the kind of woman who takes abuse, okay? <laughs> so, uh, please, just bring this into yourself. Sit still, simply in front of the yantra or anywhere you want. It's not only there, anywhere. If you pay enough attention, there is a torrent of energy. This is happening with some of you that you think uh, you there and Devi, this must happen, my child should get healthy, he must get first class, I must get a job, my husband get, must get promotion and... If you think somebody is bigger than you, you should just shut up and not say a thing, isn't it? At least that much you must have, that much sense. When you see there is a presence which is bigger than you, 
Should you not just shut up and listen? So, little love in your heart, rest will happen. You don't say, I love, how do I empty my heart? There's no such thing. <laughs> how do I empty my heart and make space for you? No such thing. If you have enough love in your heart, uh, love means just this, that we tweaked up life process, little more intense, that's all. The important thing is life is tweaked up. Pleasant or unpleasant, doesn't matter. It is tweaked up, it's happening intensely. Whether it is a comedy or a tragedy, it's happening intensely. That's what you enjoy, whether it's a drama or your life, isn't it? So, with her around, there is no sedate life, it's intense. <laughs> Many of you had reached out to us with this question as to how to deepen one's connection to Devi. Sadhguru has offered a simple sadhana called Achala Arpanam to enhance our receptivity. Achala means unmoving. Arpanam means an offering. Now we will look at the instructions step by step. You can sit in front of the Devi Yantra, Devi Gudi, Devi's picture, or anywhere else. If you wish, you can also light a lamp. Simply sit, eyes open, still, unmoving. See if you can bring everything to a certain stillness. No need to stare at anything, no need to concentrate, no need to take away your thoughts, no need to think about this or that, nothing. Simply sit still, just like that. If you need a sound going with you, you can play the Linga Bedevi Stuti or the Lambam chant. If you wish, you can chant the Stuti, but please do not chant the Lambam mantra. You can sit like this every day. Sadhguru has said that you must do it every day, even when you don't need anything, and that is the most important thing. Initially, you can sit for 12 to 15 minutes. If you wish to sit for longer, you can sit for a maximum of 21 minutes. We will now do this together. Please sit with your eyes open. Simply sit, still, unmoving. See if you can bring everything to a certain stillness. Yeah. 
you can do this sadhana on your own every day to enhance your receptivity to Devi's grace. Mm -hmm.